Let's play pro tip. If you're going to be doing any adventuring, or if you're going to be talking a lot, it's best to remain hydrated and not wander onto ghost ships. Greetings to you all, my name is Andy and welcome back to a very spooky episode of Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360. In our previous episode we got a boat. Uh, we're currently supposed to be taking Kaufman across the water and doing a lot of other things. But instead we ran into a ghost ship and we've left Yuri, repeat, Carol and Raven on the inside, so we better go looking for them. I left the girls behind, and now they're out to look for them. Wah! Let's work together. Yes, exactly like that. Another thing I should have mentioned in our previous episode, Re Estelle learned a very useful spell in the form of Resurrection. For the cost of a whopping 40 TP you can resurrect a KO'd ally. It does take a long time to cast though, so in a pinch I would recommend <laughs> I would recommend putting Estelle into an overlimit and then using it. Uh oops. Ooh, they look scary. Maybe. Actually, you know what? Time for Estelle to get. <laughs> Time for Estelle to get in on this. Okay. First aid, recover, nurse, and resurrection. There we go. Now, as far as her actual strike arts go, let's see what we've got. Starstroke. Uh, Pierce Cluster, Delight Roll, she's got an arcane art now so we can actually do some, <laughs> we can actually give her use of the burst art. Cavalry's an art, huh. who'd have thunk it? Anyway, uh, is this place sealed off? It won't open. I was sure Yuri went in this way. I wonder if there's a way to get inside. Well, you could climb up here originally as Yuri, but it does take a while. Ladder mechanics do not work well in video games. Ooh, it is quite a scary view though. Look at that. Yeah, if you were to come up here before, then you could climb even higher up, but there's nothing up there. Oh wow. A seal bottle, a limit bottle, specific and treat. What the heck is treat? Which stores 30% of all max HP. It looks like a little cola bottle. <laughs> I'll take it. Wait, was there something else there? Or was that just the ladder prompt? Yeah, it was the ladder prompt. Let's eliminate them. Oh yeah, how much damage am I actually going to do with a horn? Oh wow, you see there the celebration music is slightly different? That's because we got slightly higher than... 
That's actually because of the amount of grade that we got. With plus five. What do we get that for? Really? Just for using our burst arts? There must have been some other reason. Oh, who knows. Hey! Oh, we exit. I've got my target. That is nice. Whoa, <laughs> bad time for the music to come in there. It sounded like shrieking. Okay, so you're still learning burst art force. No, oh, I don't have the sorcerer's ring, of course. <laughs> Wait, what have I got Photon assigned to? I think that should be more important. Whoa, that was far! <laughs> Still really flew far there for that bar star. No, for that fatal strike. That was impressive. A mat. Sorry if I hurt you. I'm not. Damn it, Rita! You took them out of the way of Photon. Oh wow, you're okay. Hey, hey, you decided to come along for the ride too? Let's get out of here quickly. No oh boy. You gotta be kidding me. The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that. No way, that's possible. We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's go. Judith, don't say right on. It's not your style. I mean, I know you have that kind of quasi-archaic southern twang, but please no. Alright, here we go. Oh wait, it's still, I'm still a stealth. changed quickly enough. <laughs> I 
I thought that was an enemy in the mirror there. It's just the save point. <laughs> Orange gel. We need one of those. That's good. Uh, wasn't this the way that Yuri and the others came in? Oh, we're outdoors. A limit bottle. Nice. We can't. We cannot have enough limit bottles. Whoa! I didn't even see that one. I've seen when you get really high amounts of grade from a battle, the celebration actions that they do afterwards change. Like, Yuri does even fancier stuff with his sword. <laughs> As opposed to being less fancy than doing a forward kind of cartwheel thing while kicking the sword up in the air with his feet and then catching it in his hand before it lands on his head. And who says that you're not good at what you do, Yuri? 4,000 gold, nice. What if we go over here? I have a bad feeling about this. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days. Food and water used up. Men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give in, though. I must see the clear Ciel crystal safely to Yormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters, and with it the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Ciel crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Yurifan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Come on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. I've never heard of a town called Jorgen. If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Oh, gee. Where could it be? Hmm? Uh, could this be it? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think it's the clear CL crystal? Well, it matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man, you go get it. Um, no thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Here you go. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? It appears to have the opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us. Here they come! This looks easy. Don't get careless. Stop teleporting, dammit! Some more. Enough 
already. I want to go home. I'm not done yet. Jeez, poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we give it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yongen for him. You what? Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle. As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait. Judith, I am sorry, but I want to help him deliver this. To the one who was waiting for him. I don't think anyone waits for a thousand years. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita, you all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? I'm free to do what I like. Well, I'll come along too, then. I don't mind going either. Hold it! You guys have your jobs to take care of. You know you're gonna end up sticking with us anyway. So I don't see any problem with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, how I envy the vigor of youth. Huh? Notice something? Looks like there's smoke outside. That might be Tokunaga's smoke signal. I wonder if the Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out! Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. Alright, we got a red box. You see that box we got? It's red. So, uh, thanks for the box, buddy. You got anything else? Mel, I did take 4,000 gold from you. You got a seal bottle. I guess that'll do for now. Really feels like there should have been a boss fight in this place. Well, believe it or not, in the PlayStation 3 version, there is. Looks like the old man oh, come finally on. learned experience share. That means we can take Smash Bolt off him and give him <laughs> chivalry. This one is actually quite good for Raven. It gives him massive stat boosts depending on how many female allies we have in battle. So since I almost always have Estelle and or Rita on the team, then yeah, it's going to be of benefit. Increases backstep distance. Okay, that could be handy. Alright, so let's see if we can... Oh, hey, let's have a look up here. I know I was just talking about how annoying ladder mechanics are in games, and here we are climbing a massive ladder. <laughs> Oh boy. I know in some games they're used as loading masks, because, well, what slower thing is there for a human being to do than to climb a ladder? Or is this the massive climb I was thinking of before? There better be something up here. Yeah, I stand corrected. And you couldn't even just give us the slide down mechanic that Star Fox Adventures had. Uh, is there anything we can actually do up here? No? Well, at least there's actually... At least there's actually a door inside the captain's cabin. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up. Oracle of Seasons. Good game. Give it a go. Yeah, what? This was logged earlier? I guess we can go back through here. Hmm. The curse was broken, huh? Don't be ridiculous. Now, let's go. Yes, ma'am. Was this logged earlier? I'll take your word for it, Carol. <laughs> Okay, now that we're out here, is there anything we can do? If we could 
just kind of jump down from here, we could reach the ship in no time. Yes. Where did you get that? I thought something like this might happen, so I brought this from inside the ship. I think I'm going to gag. Whoa! Alright, let's go back to the ship. Good grief. If the Terra's Blastia has been fixed, that means we can say sayonara to this hellhole. I'll agree to that. <laughs> let's get going. Yeah, so this was down at the ledge that Yuri and the others went. Yuri and company got to. Uh, we just need to find the right place to drop the ladder. Ah, there we go. Oh, never mind. There's one here to begin with. You know, Uh Should be one more that we need to drop. Ah, there we go. Kaufman! Start the damn boats! Let's go already! Wow, we're not even 25 minutes into this. Everyone, the Sarah's blast is running again. And so it seems. Of all the... Why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other than me, you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again, promise. I wonder what caused the Saras Blastia to break down. Who knows? It just came back to life suddenly. You really think there's a curse then? Perhaps the captain wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way. Dead people can't want to do anything. Doors get stuck. The Saras Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. I said it can't happen, so it just can't. What are you hitting me for? I'm just glad that no one was hurt. Well, the boss here has seen better days. Hey, are we going to Nord Apollica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. Yeah! <laughs> We're back on clear seas. And there's the Athrum there if you ever wanted to go back. Uh, yeah, the Atherum wanders around a little bit, but you can always find it. I can't imagine why you would want to go back. I've personally never found a reason to do so. Anyway, let's see if I can head over to that place where I was originally going to go at first. Uh, up and along here, there's an island. Past the island, there's a little section of land. Don't tell me those are shallows. Oh, man. Come on, I must be able to get near it. Come on. Aha! Here we go. Yeah! Oh no, darn it. <laughs> I was talking about that little corner of land there, which is impossible to get to from, from the other side. <laughs> Uh, we could actually disembark here and head to the Imperial Capital. I'm actually curious now if there's anything there. What's this? Oh, this is a synthesis point you can find at the beach! Broken Dagger, Rhino Horn, Basilisk, Scale, and Wolfbang. Red Blossom and Soft Tail. Hmm, quite a lot, actually. I'm pretty sure there is some... Yes, there is actually, now I remember. But I'm wondering if we can trigger it now, or if we, we need to wait till later. Whoa. <laughs> I don't want to get sidetracked with any battles now, because if I'm wrong, I'll have to cut a massive portion of this this recording out. So, will I have to? Well, let's, let's find out soon. We'll find out soon enough. Depending on which side of Zaphius you enter from, you can start in the lower quarter or the royal quarter. I found the dentures! Now we can finally eat again! Oh yeah, we can actually check on this place now that we've now that we've repaired the Aquablastia. What have you gotta say? Wow, Flynn's amazing! You hear he made captain? It's thanks to him our phone's back in shape too. He's the pride of the lower quarter. It was me! Damn it, Flynn, did you not tell any of them that it was me that found the Blastia? Ted, do you have anything to say? 
Flynn's a captain now. Oh, pish tush to you. Uh, let's head up here. I actually do feel bad that I can that I may have botched up the Bryonic side quest, so I'm hoping that I can at least start something new here. Interesting to note, this guy over here. Well it's not actually interesting to note, but I thought I'd tell you anyway. Ah, the hero returns. Wait, your bounty has been cleared? Oh dear, oh dear. Now my art will no longer be displayed throughout the city. This idiot is the one who has been drawing the wanted posters. Uh, do you have anything to say? Hmm. Anyway, let's head up to the Royal Quarter, because I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, hey, that guy's following us now. Actually, if he has always been there, <laughs> I've never noticed him. I don't usually talk to him. The easiest way to find out about synthesis is just to try synthesizing. Ah, you there, in the black. Oh, this guy will be posh. Ah, you there in the black. Yes, you. I've been looking for you. Is this a friend of yours? I don't exactly have many nobles for friends. Present company accepted, of course. You've got a bounty on you, right? Looks like you've got another fan, Yuri. Let's get out of here. No, please, wait. I'm not going to turn you in, please. Listen to what I have to say. The Imperial Knights will show up if he keeps yelling like that. I know, look, I'll hear you out. Just keep your voice down. Yes, of course. I'm sorry, my name is Shell. And would you be Yuri? In the flesh. Actually, I've come to you precisely because of your bounty. Please, could you find my brother? What does Yuri's bounty have to do with your brother? Well, my brother just can't let criminals go, so I thought with a bounty on your head. So to get this straight, you want us to use Yuri as bait to lure your brother out into the open. That's a bit of a harsh way of putting it, but essentially yes. Sorry, find yourself another sucker. Yuri, wait! You haven't been able to find your brother? No. I haven't heard from him ever since he left the capital three years ago. He left on a journey to do great deeds and become famous. He used to be in the night, but he couldn't get famous, even after many brave deeds. Yeah, unless your superior officers happen to be really nice, they'll take all the credit for anything you do. Why was your brother so concerned about making a name for himself? His girlfriend's father said that he wouldn't allow their marriage unless he'd become famous. He told them, the man who marries my daughter must be known throughout the world for his righteous deeds. So then, what's your brother's girlfriend doing now? She's still waiting for him to return. Her father has since passed away, so there's no one left to oppose their marriage. So if your brother comes back, they can get married. Yuri. Ah, here we go again. There's no guarantee he won't try to kill me. I would even be happy with just some information about my brother's whereabouts. His name is Clay. Clay, got it. We'll look for him. This was what I was looking for. I'm amazed you can walk around so casually without realizing you don't belong. So I guess you're different from that shell chap. Well, you better be, the nerve of you. Yes, this is the... well... This will eventually earn Yuri a title of Dark Enforcer. Um. Is this the guy? Maybe. Ah, Yuri, have you found any clues to my brother's whereabouts? No, nothing yet. I see. It's pretty hard to look for him when all we have is his name, Clay, to go by. Well then, please go and meet Lune. Is it Lune? I would guess it's Lune. She's my brother's girlfriend. You should be able to find her with the children in the citizens' quarter. Okay, let's go and have a look. This is when I'll find out I've botched up this side quest by talking to that guy too early. Oh boy. In fact, where's that save point?
Because I do know where to find clay next. I'm just hoping I've not... <laughs> I'm just hoping I've not screwed this one up. Uh... Lune? Hey, you look different. Oh, Yuri! Fancy seeing you here! I could say the same for you. I wouldn't have expected to see you together with a noble woman. This is Miss Lune. She comes and reads books to the kids every now and then. Ah, so you're Lune. How did you know my name? Shell told me about you. Oh, I see. The children have told me quite a few things about you too, Yuri. Looks like you're the talk of the capital. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could tell me how I might be able to find your boyfriend, Clay. You're looking for Clay? Shell asked you to do this, didn't he? Yes, we'll find him for you, I promise. Just be patient. Thank you, but you needn't try too hard. I'd be glad if Clay came back, but I'm happy enough as it is. Are you sure? Yes. Now that I know how nice it feels to have someone who's always there for me. I see. But I'm very thankful for your kindness. Ah, yes. You're, you're a swordsman, correct? Perhaps you could use this. This book was my father's. He was a famous swordsman with the Imperial Knights. He had many disciples, but none of them were able to master the technique. What do you think? Can you do it? Maybe like this! That's our Yuri! Wow, you got it on your first try. That's amazing. You truly have a rare gift with the sword, Yuri. Nah, it's nothing. No, it's very impressive for you to have succeeded where all of his disciples failed. As a show of my gratitude for your kindness, you may have this book. I hope it will be useful to you. Hey, so we learned a new base art for Yuri, Tiger Blade. You really think it's okay if we don't look for Clay? I don't know. Shell seemed pretty worried about him. Let's search for him a little more. And Yuri earned the Kingdom Celeb title. <laughs> I've never liked that shortening of Celeb. Uh, what are we actually? <laughs> Your Kingdom Celeb, Yuri. Carol, you are a brave Vesperia leader. Rita, you are now a Grand Mage. Estelle, you are a seeker of the truth. Judith, you are either a great lancer, a beautiful lancer, or a blastia hunter. Well, I saw what you did in Capitorum. Ish. You're still a blastia hunter. Raven can be an old spy. And repeat is the sinful sidekick. In fact, yeah, let's let's give this tiger blade a go. Oh, it's a base art. Uh, quite a potent one, actually. <laughs> 12 TP consumption. And I still need destruction fields, so, uh... Oh. There we go. Actually, I'll head back to lower quarter and see if there's something else I can trigger <laughs> while I'm here. There's a certain item that you can get off Ted later in the game. Or if you can get it this early, then that would be news to me. <laughs> it's something that at first I thought was just like, oh, Nido is an extra little thing, but... Turns out it's a key item instead. Uh, Ted? No, I guess not. Oh well, I'll come back later, no worries. Anyway, the next place I want to head to, if I can indeed get there, because you can imagine that the shallow waters are a bit restrictive in that sense. I want to see if I can get back to Halor. Uh, where did I park the ship? <laughs> There's a stretch of beach along here, which should take us close towards Aspio. I hope. In fact, I'm pretty sure it does, because when I was doing some power leveling on a previous playthrough... Ooh, synthesis point. I came here a while back, just to kind of go up and down it. Ooh, jellyfish! Oh my god, it's a leviathan! No, it's a... 
Tentacler. Dirtlerlet. That's my impression of Tentacle. Whoa! Squid and Jet Black Ink. I'll take it. Did we ever have a Carol's Bag Part 1? I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. Yep, that's why I got you a new one. I just realized something. I never gave him the damn hat. They call it the Let's Play Curse. Your concentration is immediately cut in half. Look at that. Usually I try and keep the hat off because it blocks Yuri's face during cutscenes, but I think we better leave it on for the time being and... Hey, I can get close to Halor. I better fight some more of those tentaclers. Come on, guys! Oh, from that fight there, Judith learned... BA force, which is what increases the power of her burst art, so... Add a jump in mid-air. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, I will reluctantly give her the ore just now, so that she can learn magic and Rodmaster. But, as before, I hate Rise Attack. <laughs> I really do, so we won't be doing anything else with it. And from that fight, Rita learned a new art. Which one would it have been? Wallace! Yes, she shoots pages out from her spellbook. It's an arcane art, Rita's first actually. <laughs> okay, first things first, Aspio. I wonder if there's anything else we can trigger in Aspio. <laughs> in fact, I may just cut all the way up to getting along here, because <laughs> the time is, time is against us. And we're back. Uh, if you can see on the map there, we are in the... We're in the hills just north of Halor. Aspiel's over there. I went and checked, and sure enough, I could not trigger the cutscene. <laughs> uh, I would recommend checking for it as soon as you leave the Shaiko Ruins. Synthesis point. Oh, got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's check on these guys. What have you got to say, Peppermint Head? That's a pretty ancient looking sword. Hmm. The blade's gotten really dull too. It's no longer anything more than an antique, unfit to cut man or beast. Is that sword important to you? It belonged to someone I respect. I just I can't just get rid of it. Rich, it seems like you're not running a traveling inn just for the heck of it, am I right? Hmm. You shouldn't be so nosy, Carol. It's alright. I'm I'm a warrior, not an innkeeper. I left my village with care to slay gigantic monsters. I was fifteen at the time. When you were fifteen? 
How old are you now? 28. 13 years, huh? That's pretty long. The Giganto Monster. That's the name of a giant type of monster living all over the world. I heard that an, I heard that an extermination force sent by the Empire to kill them was entirely wiped out. Until every single one of those monsters has fallen, I cannot go back to my hometown. Why is that? Grove dots. Sounds like there's something you're not telling us. Maybe we can help? It seems like you're having a tough time of it. But you see... I don't know the details, but you, commit, but you committed to doing this yourself, didn't you? Yeah. And then it sounds like this is up to him, Carol. Yeah. Grove dots. Thanks for letting us stay the night. No problem. Come again. Maybe we should have helped him. We can't solve all of the world's problems by ourselves. Though if we ever happen to run into those monsters he was talking about, we might as well take them out for him. I don't see any problem with doing that much. Yeah, alright. What the heck happened there? I pressed the bag button to trigger a skit and nothing happened. That's pretty weird. Hey, Peppermint Head. Just checking. <laughs> So I went back to check and see if any other cutscenes were triggered there because, well, I would have liked to have gotten that, whoa, get away from me, axe beak, good grief, those things are persistent. I really wanted to check there to see if I could start that side quest going, I mean, you can, these giganto monsters, sure enough, they do wander the earth, and yes, you can encounter them, they are the optional bosses that I was talking about before. And yes, at some point we are going to go find them. Wonder if there's anything I can do in Halor. If you head for the sea from here, you can't keep running into Emmy Hill. You can't help running into Emmy Hill. They say that the remains of some monster in the ground about halfway up. The story goes that this monster was as long as the trunk of the tree of Halor. Big, right? Not long ago, I caught sight of a gallant man on my way home from the port city. He was tall and slender, with silver hair. But he was headed into the mountains, and nobody's seen him since. He was far too handsome to be a hermit. I wonder who he could have been. Hmm, huh, that might be worth investigating. But let's see what else we can do first. Oh, look at how lovely this place is now. Oh, hey, we need to speak to you guy. You. Hey, you. Undo. Three, quattro. No, this is too difficult to do by myself. What to do, what to do? What's that? That guy's the definition of creepy. Yeah, maybe we ought to just keep on moving. Oh, buongiorno. You have come at a good time. What's with this guy? My name is Cecily. Yeah, his name is Cecily. Pleasure. Ah, pleased to meet you too. Still, you're only encouraging him. I have to say, I'm having a bit of a problem. Do you think you could help me? Hey, You want us to help you? What is it that you want help with? Well, Signora, I've been counting the pencils from the five that fall from this tree. It's been a bit difficult to do alone. Well, about time we hit the old dusty trail. Good idea. Espada, please, wait. Why won't you help me? This guy's pretty annoying. 
All I need is someone to help. Even that senor would suffice. Per favor? Huh? Me? And what do you mean, even that senor? What are you trying to insinuate? Alright, Raven. We're cutting on you. Yeah, and make it fast, okay? I still don't really know what's going on, but uh, good luck? Um, I guess it's okay. Old man will get things done. He's a real go-getter. Bene, molto bene, so signor. You go and look over that way. Hold on just a second, I wouldn't say that help at all. It'll be easier if you just give in and accept your fate, old man. Yeah, and make it snappy, would you? Ugh. How do I get talked into these things? Hi. I counted all of them. From here all the way over there, there are 97,201 petals in all. See, I thought it'd be something like that. Grazie. What the hell's all this for, anyway? Oh, Signor, I cannot tell you that. It's a secret. A secret, huh? Whatever. I'm gonna go now. Asperta, Signor. Your name. What is it? Raven. Raven, you did a good job today. I'm sure good luck will come your way. Arrivederci! Good luck coming my way. That'd be a nice change. Hey, I just... I just realized something. I'm a pretty complex guy. <laughs> From that, Raven somehow learned a new spell. Arrivederci. Cause a small whirlwind, send enemies flying. It's actually a really good art. So, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, anything else we can do while we're here? If not, you'll see a cut in the video about now. Red. So very red. This cure's especially bad. What's the matter, Mayor? Oh ho, you're back! What about something being red? Oh, it's just that this year's flowers are an especially deep shade of red, so I was thinking that the curse of the caged emperor's bride must be particularly strong this year. But I'm just joking, of course. Who's this caged emperor's bride supposed to be? About 300 years ago, the emperor at the time, Brimstone IV, planted a tree on the perimeter of Halor's barrier. He lived all of his later years shut up inside his castle, so people took to calling him the caged emperor. It's always so educational to have you around, Estelle. <laughs> but what does the Caged Emperor's bride have to do with this tree? Legend has it that the Caged Emperor murdered his fiancée and buried her corpse beneath the roots of this tree. The tree gets red in colour from the murdered bride's blood, which its roots absorb. What the hell? It's really nothing more than a legend. Of course, there's no way a, key a tree could keep up sucking up someone's blood for centuries anyway. Yes, but I'm worried that this macabre tale will spread and drive potential visitors away from our town. Um, and don't you think it's a bad idea telling it to travelers like us? I, uh, oops. Okay, forget all about that story I just told you, could you? <laughs> How are we supposed to forget about something like that? If you don't forget it, the caged emperor's bride will hold a grudge against you. Cut it out! There you go again. You're just reinforcing the legend. Oops. There's no way that story's true. Or is it? Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. I'm trying to see if I can find out anything new from these guys. That was a strange thing that dog was doing there. Hey, kid. It really does look like forced perspective. Like, like you've just been... It just looks like you've been scaled down, little kid. <laughs> anyway, because I am moving, moving home soon, and... Well, I'm moving to a new flat. <laughs> because I'm moving to a new flat, and... My current flatmate is gallivanting off to Spain just now. I'm doing as many recordings as possible in a short time. So this will actually be my... Oh lord. 
This will be my sixth episode recorded in one day. That's not true. Six episodes over two days, two different days. So my throat is slowly but surely dying. <laughs> Uh, so what I will do is get back to the ship, head towards Nordopolica, and I will end things there. <laughs> so let's get. And we're back at the ghost ship Atherum. We don't have any reason to go back to it yet. I just thought I would use it as a reference point. In my next episode, we'll be heading towards Nordopolica. So my name is Andy, and thanks for watching this episode of Tales of Vesperia. If you've enjoyed the playthrough so far, minus that little minor goof, then you're welcome to like, favourite, subscribe, and all that stuff. Until next time, I'll see you in Nordopolica. Why can't I save? Oh, who cares?